How many of you have visited a Buddhist monastery before? Okay, now, in a Buddhist monastery, you have a lot of monks staying in the same area. Okay, now, just think about it. They have two, three hundred people at the same time, and all of these people must move to the same place at the same time. A hundred years ago, we don't have a PA system, right? So, how do you get people together? They evolve technologies, okay? They have bells, they have drums. When you hear a certain beat of the bell, of the drum, they will know, oh, it's wake up time, we have to wake up. If you hear a certain beat, it's chanting time, everyone will go and chant. Okay, so these are technologies that evolve, you know, because of technological constraints at the time. And it becomes a tradition. Now, today, if you have a chance to go into a monastery, if you are if you are attentive enough, look at the ceilings. You will see a lot of speakers all over the place. They will have a PA system. Okay? But that PA system does not destroy traditional ways of doing things. They still beat the bell, beat the drum. And this is another interesting idea of how technology okay, doesn't destroy all ways of doing things. In the context of a monastery, they are able to appropriate what technology has to offer but at the same time maintain their way of doing things. Yeah? Uh, there are a lot of examples uh, I, can show, I can share with you. 